28th of June, Downsview, Niagara, Ottawa. With the prospect of a long day ahead, we arrived at the airfield at 0700 hours, having said our farewells to Philip Owen. A comprehensive brief was conducted on the procedure to be adopted when overflying Niagara Falls, which is a congested tourist attraction with scores of sightseeing flights over the falls each day. The chipmunks flown by Tony and Said were accompanied by the Islander and a photo chase aircraft, a Cessna 172, flown by David Lyle with John Dale to take the photographs. Bill gave advice on how to position the Cessna around the formation to get the best possible position for coverage of the aircrafts with the falls in the background. Because of the complexity of the procedure, only three photo runs were possible as commercial pressures from sightseeing flight companies restricted our time slot. We also exposed film over Toronto and the CN Tower on the return to Downsview for refuelling. The route to Ottawa took us over well-populated farmland with scattered woods and lakes, a wonderfully scenic trip. Rockcliffe, the minor airfield in Ottawa, is home to the Canadian Air Museum, operating on similar lines to our own Imperial War Museum at Duxford. We were planned to become part of the static display there for a day and on arrival were directed to a prime position besides the main exhibit hangar and were greeted by Chris Terry, the director, Group Captain Tim Williams, the UK Air Attaché and many more enthusiastic well-wishers. A tour around the exhibits and a look behind the scenes at projects undergoing restoration was followed by the cracking of the odd bottle of bubbly before booking into our motel. Chris Terry and his wife, Victoria, laid on an evening barbecue where Bill was able to meet one of his previous bosses, Major General Lloyd Campbell, from an earlier RAF assignment with AAFCE at Ramstein, Germany, and reminisce about old times.